What's up everyone, this is JR Production X, and today we have an, an exciting unboxing for you guys. Now this is a working iPhone 6 that does turn on and has all the functions, you can take pictures with it and all that. And now it does say iPhone 6 on the box, and it has Apple logo, and it has iPhone 6 on the other side as well. But it does not have any information on the back. Now let's open this. I'm opening this for the first time. You can tell the iPhone should be right here, but it's not. It's placed under the wrapping right here. We're going to turn this on in a little bit. Let's check out what else you get. Looks like you get a screen protector that already has some stuff on it. You can tell right there. And has bubbles on it, all right? Keep looking at what you get. You get a little manual guide. And it just says hello. You can tell right here is paper. It's really flimsy on like the, the real iPhones. And you don't have any stickers, unfortunately. But just a welcome guide. It's in black and white. And it just tells you about iCloud, Maps, Safari, and all that. Let's place this off to the side. You get a little stylus. Get a, a wall outlet. And pretty much looks like the one that offers pretty much looks like the one that is offered by Apple too. The branding information is different down below though. And surprisingly enough, you do get ear pods. Kind of jammed in the box though. Let's pull those apart. But you can tell closely if you look at it that the whites are a little bit different from the extra ear pods to the middle pieces, more like a yellow tint to them. So you can tell these are actually replicas too. And on the back we do have the Apple logo. They actually do supply you with a lightning bolt as well. Oh, and we actually do get a little pin if you want to pop out the SIM card. But that's everything else in the box. Now let's take a closer look at the iPhone and turn it on. Alright, we're taking this out for the, the wrapping. It does come with a little screen protector. We'll peel that off. Place that over to the side. It doesn't have anything else on the back. Power button's right here on the right side. Turn that on. It's turning on. Actually, looks like they put another screen protector on it. I don't know what this is. Yeah, here it is. Guess they already apply a screen protector to it. We're gonna take that off though. Yeah, it is a screen protector. All right, it's turning on for the first time. Now just comparing it to iPhone 5S right here, you can tell the screen is a lot bigger. It has no SIM card in right now and you can slide to unlock. Alright, well it has all the, the home screen and everything just like a real iPhone would. We actually do have all the same apps such as messages, phone calls and all that. You can't go into the settings. And it is uh, a tiny bit laggy, but it doesn't seem too bad right now. It feels actually pretty nice in your hand, too. And the screen doesn't look too bad with the resolution. Opening apps, you can tell, it does take a little bit longer than it would with a real iPhone. Same with going to the home button. You can actually close out of apps, too, which is surprising. I don't know what's going on right now. But it has all the same apps like Passport, uh, App Store, and all that goodness. And you can actually put in your SIM card right here. And I'm going to test everything and come up with my own review on this to show you guys to see if you can actually make calls and send texts out of this. Now it does have all the hardware. The. Um, silent button actually does work and it does vibrate. Get the volume up and down. That works too. I am also going to have a drop test on this and a review comparing it against the iPhone 5S and tell me down below if you guys want to see any other videos covering the iPhone 6 prototype. If you guys did like this video, please help me out by giving this video a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next one and this is JR Production X signing off. Peace.